we're right here on campus. We're, we're 12 acres of, you know, it's kind of a little animal, animal paradise right here on F&B Road. We have everything from white-tailed deer to rat types like ostriches, emus, rheas, kangaroos. The amount of species that we've acquired since I've been a new student, it feels like it's almost double. We have some endangered uh, wild horses called Chevalsky horses, also called pea horses. So more and more over the last few years, we have altered our mission a little bit to provide sanctuary for animals that need a lifelong home, especially animals that have medical needs because we're a vet school and because we can provide top-notch veterinary care when it's needed. There is nothing like this on any other university campus, and actually nationally, there's very few wildlife centers that are actually on university campuses. So from that perspective, we're very unique. Come on. These are, these are a fan favorite. Oh my goodness, yes you are. Now look who has more. Cooper, and there you go, Tobias. The Wildlife Center has a few paid staff members, and we have a huge group of students that come here, undergraduate students that either are, usually they're wildlife and fisheries majors, they might be biomedical science majors, they might be animal science, and a lot of our students want to go to vet school. And a lot of those students are looking for experience with animals, whether it's just basic husbandry, which means the basic day-to-day -day care. And it's really good for students to get diversity of experience because they never, you never know what you're really going to do as a veterinarian. You might think, a student right now might think they're only gonna work on cats and dogs, but you, know, you never know exactly where life takes you. So I'm an advocate that students should get diverse experience because there's thousands of species on this planet. A typical day for a student at the Wildlife Center is first they come in, we have a log sheet where they log their hours. From there, they look at their weekly assignments and their weekly tasks. You come out to your habitat and you start your maintenance on your habitat filling holes, checking on the animals, cleaning their water and food bowls, things like that. And you spend most of your shifts taking care of your habitat and getting to know those animals and their exotic, specific exotic animal husbandry. So animal husbandry is really one of the most important things that students do. And while they're doing those chores, they should be observing animals. What's the animal behavior? What's the interaction with the animals? So here we teach our students about enrichment. We also encourage our students to come and learn and see how we train the various animals. We'll do different training techniques such as target training, which is really common at zoos. Bye. Animals need enrichment or mental engagement in order to help make sure that they're still living a happy, healthy life. I think the animals and the program attracts students that want to come here and stay here for a long time. And we benefit greatly by that and the animals benefit greatly. And the whole educational program benefits because it's really, a lot of it is peer assisted learning. The number one thing that the Winnie Carter Wildlife Center taught me was to do things for someone that's not myself. I personally did a lot of growing up here. I got more mature, I got more dependable. Um, I built a lot of leadership skills because we do give the students a lot of opportunities to step up and lead projects. I've never imagined that I could get so much experience out here at the Wildlife Center, not only that I could carry over to my major, but I've also gained a lot of the people skills, social skills, and leadership skills that's really required and needed of vet students. And not even just of vet students, but that's helpful in any career field whatsoever. I've learned so much here and I owe so much to here. I never anticipated me being here three or four years later, but I don't think I ever want to leave.